does being overweight lead to a hypothyroid condition which is less functioning thyroid or does a less functioning thyroid gland lead to overweight this is a question like does a chicken come first or the egg come first yes both of them feed into each other overweight body let's say a lady should be 60 kgs and she becomes 85 kgs 25 kg more so the thyroid gland has to function 40% more so that itself leads to tiredness in the thyroid gland another very big cause of hypothyroidism is autoimmune problem whereby you get certain chemicals being created in your blood which go tish, 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 tish. they kill the thyroid gland and the third underlying cause which i hope you got it by heart now with this fifth insight and video following is what insulin resistance yes because high insulin levels will make you overweight high insulin levels interestingly will also go to the liver and affect the conversion of the thyroid active hormones t3 t4 hormones thereby making you hypothyroid so enough of scientific understanding it's time for action let us meet someone who is a rare person on earth usually you never get rid of thyroid medications but we have many many of them let's meet one very very rare individual who has reverse insulin resistance overweight and thyroid condition and it's going to be a beautiful interview that you will love namaskar pranam welcome back to another amazing session we are going to meet an amazing guest who has reversed diabetes who has reversed her thyroid complications who is a legend in today's samvad we are going to meet someone who has led her career as a statistics professor in fact she wrote a paper about her own reversal that is so interesting she is a cyclist she has the identity of being a cyclist and a marathoner and she goes to the gym regularly she has lost 12 12 kg of weight in this journey of hers she adheres to the diet she is so inspiring for everyone she has reversed a hereditary disorder she has reversed a lifestyle disorder please welcome the amazing and inspir inspirational mrs nanda rajput namaskar nanda ji how are you doing fine fine i'm so happy to have you today over here you are such an inspiration please tell me about uh, your inspiring journey how did you come to take this journey what were the challenges that you overcame in this journey okay um uh, my journey started with a tooth it took pain and uh, my dentist said go uh, into the pathology lab and get your blood tested mm -hmm. so i came to know that i'm having uh, diabetes and uh, i went to diabetologist who helped me who gave me medicine and um, it was controlled and uh, this controlled means for the dental treatment it was under control and i had my dental treatment uh, then um, means i was on medicine for some 5 to 6 years and um, every visit something new was uh, getting added like um, after some months i came to know i had a bp problem then um, after some months i came to know that um, this uh, thyroid is also a problem for me 
So I felt that all these are connected to diabetes. Mm -hmm. So which they are it is all about in insulin resistance it is all about the resistance to insulin that the body develops which leads to kidney problems which leads to glaucoma which leads to other illnesses and uh, also to thyroid in some cases yeah so uh, my sister um, who, who was working in dj medical college uh, she heard uh, Dr. Tripathi's uh, le uh, lecture. Okay. Uh, and uh, she was very much impressed by that. And she suggested me that, why don't you join that? Hmm. She, she felt like I should join immediately, not wasting any time. And That's what siblings are like, right? <laughs> yeah. Do it now. I'm there with you. Siblings and best friends are like yeah. that. So she was very much after me. Uh, in her college, um, one more person was there uh, who was her colleague, and he had he was uh, he had joined that program, FFD program, and um, he he very much inspired me that he could. He told me he could control so many things, fatty liver. Uh, Fatty liver, and um, uh, so he told me he had overcome many many things um, by joining the program, and uh, that gave me confidence. And uh, my uh, we we had visited him with my husband and my sister to his cabin, um, uh, and he just explained us uh, how is the program and mm. what you are expected to do. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I think I had attended one program in the month of June or July uh, 2017 and um, I heard Dr. Pramothri Papi's um, uh, program. He had explained in a very nice way uh, what are the consequences of um, irregular lifestyles. Correct. And uh, the, the importance of why you should not have milk products. Mm, the so, most important part, how yeah. milk products lead to insulin resistance. Yeah. So how um, is, um, so what are the consequences of all these things? So he explained in a very scientific way. Mm. That uh, really inspired me and my husband. Because okay. it's very important that your <laughs> partner should understand that what is the program and yes. how much efforts one has to put in it. So uh, he was there with me and he supported me. And uh, with the inspiration from Dr. Tripathi and the participants were uh, brought on the stage uh, who had reversed their... Uh, diabetes so it was very inspiring and i was thinking that someday i will be there on the stage oh and <laughs> now that time has come yeah, yeah. so um, that inspired me that whatever i whatever uh, the program has suggested that how you should look after your um, um, food then uh, food intake then uh, exercises mm. and, uh, inner transformations and mm -hmm. uh, juice fasting and intermittent, intermittent fasting. Yes. So programs were introduced to us in group sessions. Yes. That really helped me because um, you sir is to bring on stage uh, those persons who had reversed the thing and that was really inspiring and uh, it really helped one to boost up one's uh, and today you are an inspiration for others. You yeah. got inspir inspired by our past participants and today you are inspiring others. And I'm sure that people who are watching this right now are going to be legends, inspiring 
many other people and this cycle may the cycle always keep continuing like this the way you are inspiring everyone please tell me uh, what were the major things that you have maintained even after your program got over because i understand that your program got over in 2019 and you have been clearing gtt since then so it was not just one year that something happened some intervention happened and by fluke maybe you clear gtt it's been two years and you're continuously clearing gtt glucose tolerance test so you have kept your condition reversed for such a long period of time. What are the most important things, rule of thumb that we can count on to keep the condition reversed? Yeah, first of all, um, I would like to say that um, I, to keep myself fit, I go for yoga asanas, mm -hmm. then meditation, uh, then pranayama, then surya namaskars. Every day- How many surya namaskars are you able to do now? Uh, I means 13 uh, every day. It is 13 in number. <laughs> Lovely. And once in a year or twice in a year, I see to it that I perform 108. Amazing. That is legendary. <laughs> that is legendary. You told me that you have retired in this year. So in your young age, I would say, you're an inspiration to others that you're performing 108 Surya Namaskars in a year. Amazing. Fantastic. Yeah. So I do, uh, I walk every day for five, uh, five kilometers. Uh, that is the minimum I'm telling you. Uh, it, it means it is, um, I would say it is at least five kilometers. Right. It's more than five kilometers. <laughs> then um, yoga sons, as I told you. Then um, sometimes on Sundays, I go for cycling, uh, a long ride. I would like to go on my own. Mm -hmm. and, uh, then I'm... What about your diet that you do? Before lockdown. Yeah, please go on. Please go on. Yeah, so I used to run for uh, 10 kilometers and um, I had, I think I had uh, run for more than uh, 15, 15 times 10 kilometers. Then wow. it, I love trekking. Uh, oh. So just now, this year, uh, I had been to Chardham, like, um, uh, Valley of Flowers and oh my God, the Valley of Flower trek is very difficult. If I, if I know it better, it's a very difficult trek, but yeah. I understand it's worth it as well. Yeah. So from Govindhat to Gangaria, we had a trek and uh, staying there overnight. Then next day we went for Valley of Flowers and Hemkun Sahib. Then I trekked on the Yamno Tree. And um, it was very, um, because of a lot of strength, which I had uh, gained by uh, means being regular in my fitness schedule, mm -hmm. like uh, going for gym, then cycling, walking, running, and then this asans, yoga asans, then Surya Namaskar. So it helped me a lot to maintain myself. I don't feel exhausted. I'm energetic everybody says how you can keep yourself so energetic and you are never tired so i'm very much <laughs> grateful to dr malhar sir uh -huh. <laughs> because um, when i started with gym i asked um, the gym person uh, told me what do you want to do here so i said i don't know uh, okay, and then I called Dr. Mahla, uh, then he talked with my gym, gym instructor. Trainer. So he told him what you should make her to do. And uh, <laughs> that, that is how I was introduced to gym. And uh, for my, uh, I, I should say, 58 years, I didn't do that. And it was the first time I went into a gym and that was very inspiring and and uh, the, the younger generation is to look at me, what this lady is doing here. <laughs> that, is, that is surreal 
total <laughs> transformation that is so amazing you are nothing less than a superhero you know and i'm not exaggerating this but it is so true there are so many people who limit themselves younger people who keep repeating in their their head that oh i can't do it oh this is too difficult maybe i'm not good enough and in my profession i constantly keep coaching them that hey listen that chappar chappar that negative talking you have to take control of that and increase positive talking but here i see you you are you have done legendary work already at the age of 58 you began all of this and you have completed such difficult treks and you have taken up such great athletic identities to yourself you are a trekker you are um, a marathoner you are jogging you are a gymmer this is amazing tell me how do your siblings and best friends feel about it Ah, oh, they are very much inspired. Many of them um, started working, uh, looking at uh, me that uh, they can uh, means I love uh, means I love uh, go in nature. So uh, they when I shared photographs with them uh, that I had been to such places, and uh, so they are very much inspired, and they started working on it. they take um, advices from me that what they should do <laughs> yes every every ffd and everyone who crosses out from the program becomes an ambassador of health uh, that goes for sure tell me it's been such a long period of time uh, since you cleared your gtt for the first time your programs over uh, i really want to know that uh, what is the diet that you are following now do you consume milk products do you not what is your take on it uh, if i am visiting some get together then only i take it otherwise uh, milk product is complete no no we don't drink milk at all right and uh, i i used to love initially curd and uh, uh, butter milk and all but now i don't think it is needed now um because i know the consequences of it um i just like to share that i had a gynec problem could you maybe mute yourself and uh, you know mute yourself and uh, click on it again maybe your volume has suddenly dropped down just mute yourself and unmute no now if you could unmute yourself yeah this is helping so yes you were telling us about you know your take on milk now milk and milk products yeah so i had stopped um, taking milk completely and sometimes uh, when i feel like yes i should have it then i go for milk products like uh, not much i limit myself and um, for that moment i like to enjoy it <laughs> <laughs> but you've learned your balance isn't yeah, it yeah yeah and uh, learn your balance you don't let your impulses uh, you know run all your decisions yeah yeah i had i had gained a self control i means even if you keep some cakes or um, sweets in front of me i would not feel like it mistake uh, having a taste of it um i feel that i'm, I'm i don't need it and i know the consequences of it so i have uh, got a very good self control over not eating uh, sweets <laughs> so uh, eat whatever you want right yeah, you yeah. eat sweets whenever you want some on and off on and off you're able to Easy. manage that balance that yeah. isn't it yeah. yeah so it's been a great pleasure talking to you you explained us how you have you know, oh, you achieved your reversal you explained us how you have maintained your transformation how you have transformed into a great athlete <laughs> where you have done so many difficult treks you have transformed into a great athlete you are an inspiration to your friends family 
community you are an inspiration for the ffd community you are a valuable asset for us it's it's i it goes without saying we are so inspired by our work and truly inspiring is the fact that you have gained control over yourself you are able to take yourself to the gym take yourself for the walks and you are able to hold your hand on most occasions you are able to eat the right thing make yourself take correct decisions continuously so you've really changed as a person yeah. and we respect that deeply deeply about you yes, so i would request our other viewers that please like this video and share the story of nanda ji with your friends and family she is such a great inspiration she could completely inspire another person to take up their reversal journey she has stopped her not just her diabetes medications but she has also stopped her thyroid medication so she is here with us a legend a living legend for more such stories subscribe to our channel thank you so much for your valuable time yeah thank you i'm very grateful just i want to end up with a um, few words i'm very grateful to dr pramod tripathi and her and his team uh, who really helped us um, to overcome with the right guidance because right guidance is needed and it is up to the patient i would say it is up to the person uh, how sincerely and um, is, uh, honestly uh, one uh, takes a program true yes. it is up to you yes uh, if you don't put efforts you don't get results and that is very much true so every action has a reaction so <laughs> with uh, whatever actions i have i was asked to do i think uh, the reaction is same by all <laughs> so i think um, one should do it uh, with sincerity fantastic thank you so much thanks viewers for tuning in bye bye see you in another video tata bye bye